My beautiful friends, it's Amanda here, and today we're talking about my top 10 favorite lip colors for fall. Fall is my favorite season. I feel like everybody probably knows that by this point. I also love doing favorites videos. I love doing top fives, top tens, monthly favorites. So it just makes sense to take my favorite season and one of my favorite types of videos, put those two ideas together, and bring you my top 10 fall lip colors. I tend to take my favorites videos very seriously and I kind of pour over my collection, swatch and re-swatch things, put them out on my vanity for a few days and just see what I'm drawn to. I'm also very big on giving a wide variety of price points, a wide variety of finishes, so that way not only are you getting things that truly are my favorites, but there's also hopefully going to be something for everyone. As I was going through and checking the prices for all of these products, I did note that everything in this video is currently available. However, at least two of these are limited edition items that are only available like right now for this season and probably won't be around for a super long time. I don't like to encourage impulse buying. The whole point of why I'm here is to give you really, really good information. That's why I do in-depth reviews. That's why I do lots of comparisons. That's why I do everything that I do and why I review things in the way that I review them. But a piece of that information is two of these things are very limited edition and won't be around for long. So if those two items do grab your attention, I would recommend not waiting on those. But overall, it seems like the rest of these lip colors tend to be pretty readily available. I also wanted to mention that quite a few of the lipsticks that you're going to see have been part of more comprehensive, dedicated reviews here on my channel. So if you want to learn more about any of these formulas, go and check the description box because I may have a full dedicated review and entire line lip swatch type of video just linked in the description box down there for you. Okay, so it was nice chatting and catching up, but let's get into the lip colors. These are not in any ranking type of order. I'm literally just putting them in order from lightest to darkest in the interest of my own lip swatches. So let's get to it, my top 10 fall lip colors. We're starting off with this lipstick from Propa Beauty. This is the shade Victorious. The Propa Beauty lipsticks are priced at $12 each and they are available only from the Propa website. As far as I know, I don't think they're carried at any other retailers. Now, this is described as a satin finish lipstick. I do think this leans very creamy for a satin finish and I like that. It's super comfy. The undertones are just right and there's a wide variety of neutral shades to choose from, so there's certain to be something for everybody. Next, we're moving on to this gloss. This is the only gloss of the bunch. This is from Mented Cosmetics. This one's called Mauve Over. It's quite a cool toned, rosy mauve shade, and this is available from a few different retailers. You can find it on the Mented site and the Ulta site. It's priced at $15 from both of those retailers, but it is priced at $12.99 from Target. So if you have access to a Target or you can order from the online store, you can save just a couple of pennies on your Mented products there. Now we're talking about one of the limited edition lipsticks in this favorites video. This is the little fall holiday release from Too Faced. It's called Cinnamon Bun. It's one of their melted mattes. And I pretty recently posted a review of this little fall cinnamon collection. So if you want more info, go and check that out. But I do want to quickly mention, in case you haven't seen that, that this is quite scented. To me, it smells just like a Michael's craft store. So <laughs> apologies if that means nothing to you and you've never been into Michael's. Now let's talk about this Revlon Colorstay Satin Ink. I am putting the shade Wild Ride in my favorites. 
This is a satin finish liquid lipstick. You can find this for $10.99 from most retailers. And this is such a beautiful rosy brown shade. This is one that I can see being flattering on a lot of different skin tones. And this is one of my current favorite lip formulas. I did post a full review earlier in the year and I continue to use and love these satin ink lip colors. Next up is another one of our very limited edition lipsticks. This is from the MAC Tempting Fate Fall Collection. This one's called Tarnished Reputation. This is another one that I have recently reviewed. You can find this on the MAC site as well as from a handful of other online retailers. It's priced at $21 and this is a matte finish. The MAC mattes are quite comfortable though. They're very satiny mattes in my opinion. And I just love this bright pumpkin color. It's almost a coral, but this is the only really orange lip color that I've liked in a really long time. Now let's move on to a ColourPop Fresh Kiss Glossy Lip Stain. I am also head over heels for this formula. This has been one of the best ColourPop formulation releases all year, if not in just recent history in general. This shade Cherry Up is such a pretty soft red if you're somebody like me that shies away from a more traditional really bright red. This is a great option. These are super affordable. They're $8 a piece and it is a glossy finish but it's also a stain so as it wears over time that color does remain on the lips which I really really like. Now this one, you know, I try not to choose favorite favorites, but if I had to pick a number one, it would be this one. This is a Velvet Blur Finish Luxe Lipstick in the shade Slow Dance. This is also priced at $8. I cannot tell you how much I love this color and how perfect it is and how much I've been wearing it and loving it. Spoiler alert, this will be in the September favorites video. It's just such a lovely rusty brown. Is it red? Is it nude? Is it brown? Who knows? It's just a beautiful fall color. Now for something that is decidedly very brown, at least on me, this is a Huda Beauty Power Bullet Matte Lipstick, one of my favorite matte lipstick formulas on the market, and this is the shade Game Night. Now these are a little bit pricier. They are $25 each. The packaging is really luxe. The formula is super, super comfy. This is worth it for me just to have such a reliable, comfortable, beautiful, opaque lipstick. And this brown shade is such the perfect undertone. It's not too, too dark. It's not too streaky. It's just, it's really just right. When I want a brown lipstick, I reach for game night. Now let's talk about NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. I know this is one that you either love it or you hate it formula-wise. Personally, I am in the love it camp, obviously, because here it is in my favorites. These are, of course, a matte finish, and they're priced at $6.50. I really like this shade Copenhagen because it's kind of a cranberry red. It has a little bit of a purpley feeling to it, but it's not full vampy. It's not fully burgundy, but it's not fully red. It's just one of those in-between colors that really works for me. And lastly, we have NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. This is the shade Endangered Red, and I believe that this is living up to its name because I believe that this shade is being discontinued. It's out of stock on the NARS site right now, where it was originally priced at $27, but I did find it on a couple of other online retailers. It is on sale, which leads me to believe that it will be discontinued soon, but I love this color. I can't tell you how like vampy and sassy I feel when I wear this. And I imagine this will look great on just about everyone. 
I also want to show you an arm swatch so that you can see all 10 of these shades side by side. I find this helpful if I'm trying to decide between two or three different shades to see everything all laid out. So I'm going to show you a quick arm swatch with these 10 shades. I've noticed that this fall especially, you know, I'm, I still have some of my beloved medium warm neutrals. I'm always gonna love those shades. I love them year round so it'd be weird for me not to include at least a couple of those because they stay in my favorite shades but I've noticed that this fall I'm going more towards more brown shades and I've also found myself really enjoying a couple deeper shades. I'm typically one that's kind of shies away from vampier colors but I've noticed that especially these sort of purpley undertoned reds, like oxblood type of red colors, have just really got me in my fall feels this season. No matter what type of shades you enjoy, no matter what your budget is, no matter what your preferred finish is, I really hope that you found something here that you think will work for you. Or at the very least, I hope you just enjoyed seeing what my favorites were. I always love to hear about your favorites too. I very often will purchase your favorites based on your recommendations, so make sure you let us know what your favorite fall lip colors are. Perhaps it is not fall in your hemisphere and you are enjoying a completely different color story right now. That's great, but I want to hear about that too. Leave whatever lip colors you're enjoying down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Yikes. I don't know if that made sense. <laughs> and I just, I, uh, my top 10 favorite, what, what are we, what is this video about? Where, who am I? Where am I? Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. The doorbell rang. So I do not remember where, what I was talking about. So let's just go with it, and that can be a problem for editing, Amanda. <laughs> Are you loving the green, cool tones, cool grungy green eye? Because I am loving it. I always list what I'm wearing in the description box, so if you're ever like, ooh, what's your nail polish, what's your eyeshadow, all that stuff, I put it in the description box, so make sure to check there, because it'll be there. I promise. I'm really good at remembering that. Not perfect, but really good at it. My lips are going to be so mad at me after this. <laughs> because you like to make things difficult for yourself, so good luck figuring that out. Okay. Okay. In case you're wondering, do the glossy lip stains really stain? This is the swatch. The washed off swatch. They really stain. A lot. I did it. I swatched them all. Yay! <laughs> Get it together. Lock it up. Leave all your favorite lip colors, no matter what the season is, down in the description. No, you can't write in the description, only I can. <laughs> Leave all the f- Whew, that was a hot mess. What do I need? More caffeine? Maybe. Might be time for a little caffeine boost. That midday slump, you know what I mean? I know that I'm not the only one that happens to. All of these are my favorites, but I really am loving this color right now. It looks so cute and I bet it's gonna look good on a lot of different people too. Thanks so much for watching. I'm really glad you're here and I want you to know that besides all 10 of these lipsticks and the whole season of fall, you know what else is my favorite? You. Because I love your face. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. I'll meet you back here. Okay, have a great day. Okay, bye.